Hello, wonderful world. So today is four of seven. That's the fourth orphanage out of seven in North Thailand, which I visit every six months. And I've been doing this for the last three to four years. The orphanage is called Banjit Mart and is run by a wonderful lady who is 84 years of age. Yes, you heard it right, 84 years of age and she has 16 children she looks after. A remarkable lady and an orphanage which I am very fond of because of this lady that contributes to society in a way that some of us, me included, just can't imagine, can't fathom. So in most videos I show you my steed, I just wanted to show you some of the roads that I rode in in Chiang Rai. Um, I have a load at the back which I'll show you in a short while but it's just lovely to ride on roads where you're the only vehicle on that road. The only traffic is you, the blue skies, the lovely clouds, the greenery that encapsulates the road, it's just wonderful, magical even. But anyway, we came here to look at what's really magical, what's really special, the orphans in the orphanage, the orphanage in question, Ban Jit Mar. So let's head in that direction, shall we? A quick pit stop to Macro to ensure the small load that we have is fully loaded for a big drop at the orphanage. I have to admit, Macro is a godsend. And as I said in the last video, the air-conditioned surroundings really do help my cause as I'm lugging heavy weights and traveling a considerable distance with an extreme load. So this security officer saw me struggling. I've been coming to Macro several times and he sees that I loaded on the, in the sun. So he said, please take the shade and load your bike. So just so you understand it's the same setup five bags of 200 liters under the seat 100 liters and i say 50 liters because this is a shad 48 but i know i've packed more than 50 liters in that um so yeah it's all ready to go to the next orphanage which is barn jit mart and uh i haven't actually called them to say i'm coming but um i'm sure they'll be there it's a lot guys, I'm absolutely shattered putting it all up, loading it all on and I've got to go now and I can't expect the kids to offload it, <laughs> it's so heavy, seriously, um, I don't know what the weight is, I know it's over 1150 uh, litres in terms of volume, weight wise, I don't know, uh, I, I shudder to think, anyway, time to hit the road. So the kids are offloading the food. I think uh, it's always nice to see, uh, I was going to say smiles, but I think the concentration on what's there is uh, uh, stopping them from smiling. I'm sure they'll enjoy what's next when I offer them toys. There's a lot more children in this orphanage than used to be. But the lady there in the white hair is the uh, lady that looks after them. She's 83, well 84 now I guess, so remarkable. Truly remarkable. The wonderful children that stay and reside in this orphanage know what's next. They know after the food's unloaded, it's time for toys. They're waiting in anticipation. But I'm waiting for all the kids to arrive and then it'll be their turn to have more fun and some smiles. Whilst editing this video, I'm awash with emotions. It's hard to control your emotions. When you see these children in person, it's very important to control. And often when they're not looking, I'm wiping 
tears from my eyes. But when making this video and I look at their faces, I look at their smiles, I look at their laughter, I look how happy they are with receiving very simple gifts like very basic toys. And I look at the rest of the world and the rest of the world has so much more but lives in a state of dissatisfaction. I see governments and corporations treating people like numbers, not even numbers, far less. Currently, there is a state of genocide being perpetrated against the Palestinians. And even though this video is not about that, it just shows how humanity has lost its ground where countries and corporations for their greed and their self-interest literally bombard life to the point where it ceases to exist. Sometimes, most of the times, I wonder if we have lost our humanity to the point where really we are no longer humans. We are biologically humans, but mentally, through our soul, through our actions, we are one of the species that now exists on this earth that is set for self-destruction. Anyway, sorry guys for going off at a tangent. Sometimes when you're in these situations and you see these beautiful lives and you see the state of the world, you start thinking and those thought processes can take you to places that are very dark. On a lighter note, let me share a little more of my ride and some of the sights that I see when I head out to these orphanages. You've got to remember that these countries that I visit especially in North Thailand, have some beautiful architecture, some beautiful temples, and notwithstanding, very kind, decent people. So I thought, let's show you some sights. It'll be very short, I promise. A few pictures of the glorious surroundings that I ride through, and then I will say goodbye. And now it's time to say that very goodbye. Goodbye everyone, God bless you all.